Right, um, me again. I'm going to take you through section B this time of the MEST 3 exam, uh, the A2 Media Studies um, AQA exam. Right, once you get to section B, you've got an hour left. So section A should have uh, taken you 45 minutes to do the writing and 15 minutes to, to watch the text and take notes on the texts. Uh, you have an hour left for section B and you only answer one question. Right, so you're given four options, you choose one. First thing you'll need to do, I'd read all the questions um, and then decide do you want to do representations or do you want to do the impact of new and digital media and then obviously you choose from within that uh, which one which one you're going to do. Now if we have a look at a couple of the questions then. Right, question four. A negative representation is better than no representation at all. Discuss this statement with reference to the group or place that you've studied. Um, question five. Part of stereotyping is the attitude that all members of a particular group are the same or else fall into a very small number of types. How and why is the group or place you've studied stereotyped? Now it seems to be you've got a, a pattern there, haven't you, where you've got a statement and then you're asked to discuss your view alongside the statement. Sort of, um, yeah, so discuss is quite wide, isn't it? In fact, in this instance, this one's quite wide. You could take that in any direction you wanted to. Um, this one is more specific. How and why is the place uh, or group that you've studied st uh, stereotyped? When we move to impact of new digital media, New and digital media offers media institutions different ways of reaching audiences. So you've got a statement of fact there, which I think we'd all agree with. Consider how and why media institutions are using these techniques. So here, it's a matter of applying um, your case study, your case study knowledge to the question. Now, if you've done, for example, if you feel confident about the case study on news, um, then you're looking to largely base your answer around that. But you don't have to only stick to one case study. You can bring in other aspects of the media. So you could also bring in, um, I don't know, I mean, to me, news stands out there as one that you could write well on. Um, but you could also write about well, more or less anything, couldn't you? The music industry, the gaming industry, um, the film industry. Uh, so whilst you base it around a single case study you don't have to stick to that one and you can bring in other points question seven to connect to create to share creativity or thought to discuss to collaborate to form groups or to combine with others in mutual interests or passions if you can't see the point of any of those things you'll not see the point of facebook what opportunities a long question isn't it? what opportunities and or disadvantages do new and digital media have for audiences? I mean, I think that's a wonderful question. Um, and, you know, you don't have to... The, the, the question talks about Facebook, about social networking. The question means you don't have to write your whole answer, um, or even very much of your answer, about social networking. This is the important bit. That's the question that you're answering. The statement above is a kind of stimulus. It gets you thinking... Uh, it gets you something to engage with, but this is what they want to answer. Now, I suppose key points for doing well in this section are clear focus on the question throughout. Now, you do that by planning your ideas before you start. What opportunities and or disadvantages? So you'd, you'd be looking to plan for two or three substantial points about opportunities that then you can provide examples for um, and just dis develop discussion. You'd be thinking also of disadvantages for audiences. Um, yeah, so you'd have three points for that, two or three points for that. You'd end up with five decent quality points. Plan it through. Make sure you've got clear topic sentences guiding your reader through your response. I think it's it's fine to be fairly mechanical about this, really. To be able to say, okay, um, you wouldn't say okay, would you? But you'd say one major opportunity that new and digital media um, offer for audiences is, and then off you go. I mean, you might talk about greater opportunity, greater accessibility, uh, for example, uh, and then apply a case study to that. Talk about news, talk about music, whatever it is you want to talk about. Um, but then, of course, you can't just rely on accessibility. You'd use disadvantages to talk about some more kind of sophisticated uh, concepts within that. I think.